Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today I have this uh, KW T680 with a Cummins ISX and as you can see it is completely apart. The problem then this engine was having was then it was blowing a lot of coolant from the coolant tank for the breather. It has a little cap where it was throwing all the coolant and um, it was not overheating it was just throwing pressure so that clearly gives you the idea then that is a problem over the head because it is, it is releasing compression to the uh, coolant system that is a pretty easy diagnostic you know like uh, just to make sure what is the problem that's pretty easy but uh, I already did like I did one video about it. I don't know if you remember another video I did about a Volvo truck then I had high compression. I did a pressure test and you saw that the pressure was going up. And I did another video too where I actually explained what happened to another truck then was actually throwing coolant to the uh, coolant tank. But in this case, everything is totally different. In a way, then, this engine has a major failure those engines before they had like uh, just a damage on the head but in this case this engine has something completely different something that you won't expect uh, to see on a used engine so that's the reason why i have this engine completely apart so you can get the idea how an engine that is completely messed up is going to look and what are going to be the things that you are going to look to check the engine up so if you want to come closer to the engine block over here you can clearly see something completely off right you can see this ball is sticking out it's completely um, on site so uh what happened is then the top of the bolt is broken see the top of the bolt is completely broken so when the head was was getting removed the bolt was completely off completely off it was just hanging right there so we can clearly see what is the cause of this problem why the coolant was mixing um with the oil and what why the compression was getting released to the uh to the coolant system but you can see all this mark the all the color of the oil see all the color of the oil this color is because the water was completely mixed with coolant when the water uh, gets mixed with coolant at high temperature gets this color so all the compression from this side was getting released to the coolant system and the coolant system was getting uh, the coolant was getting released to the oil system so that's the reason why we have this issue right here just because this ball this ball was broken this is something unusual then you won't see in um uh, over uh the road you know like if you take an engine apart probably you won't see this problem i already i i, I saw this problem before on a detroit city 60s uh, the balls were broken they were rusted inside and that's it but on coming size 6 um it, it is not too old so this engine is like 2016 i believe and this was the reason why the engine got completely destroyed so in this case because this engine is completely apart we have to remove everything we have to remove the liners we have to remove the pistons we have to do an engine overhaul we have to replace the uh, main bearings rod bearings and everything and we have to remove this ball from here so we can uh, redo the thread if the thread is bad if the thread is okay we can just remove it just refresh the thread and just put the new ball that will be the solution for this problem but uh, besides all this besides then we have this damage over here we have another damage another visual damage and that damage is going to be on the head so let's go to the head and you will see what i'm talking about so we have the head over here it is on one side because we want to see the bottom part of the head uh, uh, the problem with this head is uh, then um, it was uh, consuming coolant you can see the rust over here right that's normal that's something that we knew because the ball was broken so the pressure was getting released to one side and everything that's nothing to get surprised because the problem was already present but 
The situation that happens with this head right now is that this head is cracked. And in my, my other videos, I talk about the head uh, having damage and everything, but uh, you you weren't you weren't able to see how deep the crack was. In this case, we can clearly see this one right here. This over here is going to be a crack over there. So uh, you can clearly see the division of that. That is the crack that goes around. And we have another one right here on the bottom, see? That is how it looks when the cylinder head is completely cracked. And uh, because in this case, the engine, the, the cylinder head is completely destroyed. We have, uh, we have another one right here. This is another one right there. This is a little hard to see it, but it's right there too. And uh, and we have some others just similar to that one in the other cylinders, which is completely bad. The reason then uh, the reason why this is completely bad is because we cannot reuse this head. This head cannot be reused because if you take it to a place where they're going to repair it they will inspect it and after they inspect the head they will realize then it has a crack and the head cannot be reused so the solution for this will be just to buy a head from the dealer straight from the dealer and and that will depend up to the dealer to decide if this head will be worth the core exchange or you have to pay the core. Some dealers will say okay, some dealers no. That will depend on who is going to inspect it. That will depend on your luck. In this case, I don't know how it's going to be, but the owner of the truck is the one that is going to get the parts. In this case, uh, that is the problem and that is an expensive problem because this head is around $5,000 and plus the core that is going to be around like another $2,500. That's like $7,000, $7,500 with the head and the core if the core is not accepted by the dealership. That will be super expensive to repair and that is not counting the pistons, cylinder liners, uh, bearings, all the overhaul components and any other things that are needed to repair the engine, which is going to be super expensive to repair it. In this case, as I said before, all the components gotta be replaced, especially uh, oil pump and all the stuff, because you can clearly see how this oil was. It was completely a mess. This is a completely messy um, problem. And uh, this engine was running like that. Uh, uh, it, it was good and this engine was stopped on time because you have this amount of uh, water inside the system and these cool curves and the engine got completely destroyed because the bearings were actually no uh, lubricated with the right amount of oil. Instead, it was watered with oil mixed together, which was not the best uh, way to keep your engine, right? So, um, uh, luckily this engine was safe, um, but, uh, as I say, we have to do a overhaul, a complete overhaul, because you cannot reuse these parts. I mean, you if you want to reuse them, you can, but you are going to be in a, in a great risk to get your engine completely destroyed after putting everything back together. But anyway, this was just a little talk about what is this problem, which is a very big problem, a very expensive problem to repair. Um, there is not a, a, a cheap way to repair this problem. There is none. There, there could be a cheap way in a way that you can just like replace the head and fix that, but it's not going to be worth the uh, work. So it's going to be better to do the overhaul at the same time. Um, I know that this is not going to be a very cheap repair because uh, it's going to cost a lot of money, but the risk of taking a uh, uh, to do something cheap is going to be the same thing in the long run. If you don't do it right now, you're gonna do it later. So it's going to be more expensive later anyway. So it's better to do it right now. So in, if you have this problem on your engine, don't just do half engine. Don't just do like the head or something like that. You have to do the whole over the whole, especially if you know that your truck goes all over the country. 
That way you can actually save many problems. I'm trying to work on a video on uh, uh, Cummins IS6 and rep uh, doing stuff like engine uh, things like replacing pistons and stuff like that. So little by little you are able to know details about it too. But uh, you know I'm trying to work my time out making videos about everything so you guys can understand, get the idea or simply just get uh, some knowledge then you just gonna no, you know, it's basic knowledge. There is nothing wrong by knowing something. Even if you don't do it, it's good to know it. Anyway, uh, if you find this video interesting, please make sure to like the video. And uh, if you want to contribute to my channel, use the description of the video. I have details how to send support to my channel so I can create videos like this for all of you. Then want to learn more about these engines. And if there is something that was left, that wasn't mentioned, or something that you experience with a problem like this, you can use the comment section where you can leave any type of questions, any type of recommendations, opinions, or add something to the video, you know, is very important. That way you can help other viewers, or simply you can get your own ideas uh, and someone else probably can add something so you can have a better idea about something. But if you wanna contact me faster, go to Instagram, Francisco Maya YouTube. I will try to uh, answer your questions as fast as I can. So if I don't reply, as soon as you send, in, say you send me a, B, uh, a message, don't worry, I will get to you. Is uh, it is just I just have too many questions. But anyway, uh, this is all I have for you. Make sure to like the video, share it, subscribe is very important. And thank you for watching.